what's today? Picking up our side by side. Side by side day. Oh, there it is. Side it. <laughs> Finally got so you a side excited. by side. So April's been wanting a side-by-side -side for quite a few years and finally uh, finally made it happen. So, so we'll go over more of what we got here in a little bit. They're actually going to go over with us right now and we will see what it's all about. Got it fired up. Going to load it up now? Going to load it up. Alright. We just went through the walkthrough. She learned out all the modes and everything to do on this thing. and Put it low or high? High. You're going to go off the curb. What? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There. A little bit more. Okay. All right, there it is. Loaded up, strapped down, ready to head home. We'll get it home and uh, show you guys what we got. I mean, you pretty much see it, but we're going to take it home and do some little break-in stuff around the cult sack and all that stuff. So get it unloaded, maybe, maybe drive it just a little bit. Oh. Ready to hop in? You can slide your seat back a little bit too if you want. Oh, I think I feel pretty good right here. This side's not too bad. Oh. So I'm like 6'2", she's like about 6 foot. And yeah. we both fit pretty well. There's a little bit extra room it's in them. Plenty of headroom too for the helmet. Oh. Seatbelt on. Let's go around the cold sack. Look at you go. Oh, Wendy. So I got these handles here and here. On some of them, they used to have like a little bike handle, I guess, on the Let's razors and stuff. And I just go up, turn around right in that little dirt area. Pretty good. Pretty neat. I think they're just, I think these look the best. I, I like kind of how they sit more like a car than kind of like a buggy or a truck. Got your little handle here. And then they sell accessories, all sorts, like for the roof and all sorts of crap. Where's your other handle? Oh, right here. In the door. So you got right one there. there and one there. Same belt skis. Safe. Dang. Actually, I thought it'd be more aggressive on the throttle, but it's pretty smooth. No, it doesn't, but it doesn't feel like you're going that fast either. No, it doesn't. Well, I guess we'll see if we can get this thing fit in the garage. We've run out of space here at the house, so we had to clear out the single car garage connected to the house to try to get this thing in there. And we're pretty sure it'll fit, but uh, we need to make sure. Huh? We did it. It fits, huh? Hey. Ace, what are you doing? What's up, bubs? So, there it is. It fits in here. Uh, you guys have never seen the motorcycle, but my dad built this quite a while back. 
Uh, then I ended up getting it from him, did a few changes to it, and just, we don't ride very much, but now we end up with something like this, and it fits in the garage relatively well. So I pretty much said, like, we can't get it because it won't fit, and then we, we made it room. fit. <laughs> we got it. So now we have a Can-Am X3 Turbo, but this is the base model. We'll get it back out and show you, but uh, really 120 horsepower, but super simple to upgrade to the 170, like two or four horsepower. All you need is an intercooler, blow-off valve, and a tune, and you can tune these things. So you can actually buy a program that tunes these. So I think it'd be cool to eventually like try to hook this thing up to the hub dyno and then do those upgrades. April wanted something that is off-road based, something she could drive and beat on and play with. And she's rode dirt bikes since like third grade, always enjoyed the off-road stuff. So now we got a uh, big kids off-road toy mm -hmm. here with this. And it's kind of, you know, based. I, if I had a bigger trailer, we'd put this and a vehicle, maybe sell the golf cart, eventually have a 28 foot or 32, this and that can go. We could also probably throw this on a trailer with like the burnout truck, like a larger open trailer, maybe upgrade open and end up taking this with us wherever we go to the tracks and stuff. Um, as well as one of the vehicles that we take with us. So that's going to be kind of cool. Just some options. But yeah, otherwise, I mean, they're fairly simple. Uh, two wheel, four wheel drive, got all your mode selectors. Got your little dash up there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but eventually this thing might need an intercooler right in this area. But this is a turbo model. I don't know how much boost. I really don't know a lot about some of them. So uh, that's what we're doing is figuring out some new stuff, huh? Yep. Playing with some new toys, which always something to play with. All right, guys, we got it out. We're about ready to go for our first rip on this thing. You ready? You ready. All right. Ripping it out through here, it's pretty fun. We're gonna go ahead and get back to it. So we've been out here ripping for a few minutes and this thing is a bunch of fun. What do you badass. think? Badass. It is badass. So I freaking love it. <laughs> we're uh, out here just in a whole bunch of dirt. We're gonna climb some hills, play around. We're just taking it easy, not trying to go crazy. Just learn the machine, see what it does over little whoops and rocks and trails and the the power's plenty it seems like and then the braking's a little not as strong as you would think it kind of slides a little bit and stuff but it's a lot of fun when you come out of a corner and kind of pin it kind of slides and mm -hmm. drifts a little bit it's it's a blast so yeah we're gonna keep ripping it <laughs> No, oh, that's too much fun. <laughs> What'd you think of that? You like that? Yeah, that was fun. It'd be funner in Bernie. 
Oh yeah, no, but that gives you an idea just ripping around. It tight, it does tight circles though. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that is going to be it for the first ride on the Can-Am X3 Turbo. If you guys want to see more of the side-by-side -side stuff, let us know. We might go travel some different places, maybe do like reviews of riding areas or something like that. So we're going to be there anyway, so I can make videos about them. If you guys want to see them, just let me know in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video.